Hello everybody. This is Chrome's Wizard 18. Sorry, I was turning my mic up a little bit. Or not the mic, the speaker. Anyway, uh, just so you know, from now on on the weekdays, why it's going to head start, so I only have Jackson during that point. He goes from 8 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon, and I think either my sister will get him, or my mom will, and keep him up there at work with her until she gets off. And so far, apparently he didn't cry when they dropped him off the first day, because today was his first day. I figured he would because he's going to a stranger, and he normally shies away from strangers, so it surprised me. Anyway, so far today's been going good. Jackson stayed in my room, watched his tablet, played with his toys for a bit. And essentially was being a good boy today because he didn't have wide to push around. I hate saying that, but sadly the little guy is jealous of White. White will try to, you know, get some of his toys to play with. Jackson will take him away and push him down and make him cry. So, yeah, that's what goes on with that. So, I'm glad that Jackson, White doesn't have to worry about that anymore because he gets to not only play with toys without being pushed down, possibly. He also gets to play with other ki other little boys and girls his age. Which is around a year old. Or close to a year old or whatever. I just hope you don't get upset that we are not around during the day. Now mind you, this is only the weekend. <coughs> <coughs> only the weekday, I mean, not the weekend. It's the weekend he stays at home. Anyway, uh... Sorry, I thought that my tea has stained my teeth or something, because you're, apparently if you drink tea, you got to be careful and brush your teeth, because it'll stain your teeth. And yes, there is tea, it just got watered down a bit, because the ice melted. Because we do not have alcohol at our house, except in my dad's shop, he drinks beer, and I do not drink it, it just didn't smell right. Ugh. Anyway, enough rambling. Uh, this is going to be my thoughts on Cowboy Bebop episode 14. Uh, this episode was there by trying to find the mastermind of some uh, hacking and stealing of money thing, you know, from the ships. It makes sense. And, you know, obviously they caught a bunch of people involved, but they none of them were the mastermind, so they couldn't get the bounty. And, like I said, it makes sense. You gotta catch the guy responsible, or else... Because if you just catch the underlings, the mastermind's just gonna keep doing it until you catch him. And obviously they're trying to find out who's responsible, and they actually get a lead when Jet leaves a bug, a tech bug, in the form of a cigarette. Sorry. And if I if you see me wince or cringe with my mouth, it's because I took a lower tab earlier, and the pain is obviously gone, but I think either a hole is getting worse in the tooth, or... It's just overly sensitive today, but I got some, you know, food from lunch on my fingers and I'd suck it off. And it gives me a tickling pain in that tooth. Just that tooth, though. And I I just hope it's not getting worse. I just hope it's just, you know, a glit, uh, fluke. Because I really don't want to have to think of it getting worse. Because we still can't, you know, afford to get them taken out. It's just too expensive right now when we could use that money for the wedding. So I want to get it. I wish I hadn't taken me off the dental insurance. And no, it's not my parents taking me off the dental insurance. It's stupid insurance changes made me in the group that I don't get insurance. It sucks. Because in order to get the two taken out, that I have to get taken out, if I don't get put under, it's around $520. Or in that range, anyway. But if I get put under... Like I did last time when I got my wisdom teeth taken out. It's around 800 something dollars. And that sucks. I had to pay the whole thing. <clears throat> Sorry. And I need to stop rambling. And getting off topic. Essentially they used a bug to find out information on the person. Apparently this person is a chess master. And Ed ends up playing chess with the guy. Because on the groups that they found. They each had a chess piece on them. Because each of them went after a group. J 
Jet went after some people, Faye went after somebody, Spike went after a few people, you know, and each of them found a chess piece on the group. And Ed used one of the chess pieces and started playing chess online with some guy, and it turned out to be the guy they're looking for. So they end up tracing him to some, uh, I guess, junk heap with old ships and stuff in it that people were living in, you know, away from the government and everything, and, well, they found him, and apparently he'd gone senile in the 50 years that he'd been missing, so, yeah. They just let him be, and... Well, that was about it. Nothing really happened except uh, Jet getting, I think, some money for keeping quiet about the whole thing. And <laughs> it ended up losing the chess match after a week of playing. Then again, it makes sense since if you're playing for a week and not getting sleep, you're bound to make mistakes. And I guess that Ed made some mistakes. I don't know. Anyway, that's about all that happened. We're just, you know, getting random things happening until we get closer to the end, in which case things will pick up. <coughs> anyway, I'm probably going to be able to get some more stuff done because Jackson's sleeping. And thank God I don't have to worry about Wyatt. I just hope he does okay there because I'd rather not hear about something, you know, happening to him. Because of people being stupid. I just, hope he's, I just hope he does good there, he has a good time, he just doesn't get, you know, too missing us too much, because I've always been the one that takes care of him during the week, and driving me nuts in, because of it, to where I, you know, essentially need a break by the time the weekend gets here. Anyway, uh, that's about all I have to say on this, and I will see you all next time.